Sun Coast voters turn out for the opportunity to find out about the candidates running for the District 23 State Senate seat today. ABC 7's Kate Flexter was there and she talked to the candidates and the constituents. Alex, it's one of the most contentious and expensive state Senate races in Florida. And today voters had the chance to meet the candidates vying for their vote. Just weeks away from the August 30th primary, the race for District 23 state Senate seat is heating up in Sarasota County. And this is the time to put the, uh, put the uh, rubber to the pavement and, and really uh, get out there and meet folks. On Sunday at the Old Mayaka Schoolhouse, voters had a chance to really learn about each candidate. It's very important to me to be able to know what their issues are, and I have some questions to ask them. And the candidates learned about the voters as well. It's, it's nice to be able to get your message out in mail or on TV, but when you're face-to-face -face talking to someone about what, what issues are important to them, it's most important. So people know you. Um, they feel comfortable coming and talking to you about it, and you can really learn from them. Right now, it's all eyes on the presidential election, but the candidates encouraged voters not to forget about local and state elections. One senator change can have a very dynamic impact on state policy at, at the state level. What gets passed at the county level, what gets passed at the state level has a lot um, faster of an impact on your life than what gets passed at the federal level. The Florida Senate has 40 seats, 26 of which are currently held by Republicans, and the other 14 are held by Democrats. Still, the voters we spoke to were not necessarily voting on party lines, but instead talking to each candidate about certain policies and issues. You have to find out how each person feels about the issues that that you are interested in. Some even came prepared, taking notes on each candidate's platforms. We looked on the internet and we tried to find out as much as we could, but there, there really isn't that much available knowledge of the candidate. That's why we thought we had to come out and, and actually meet them and, and see what, uh, what they're all about. The next step for these candidates will be the August 30th primary, which will determine who will be on November's ballot. Alex?